Hey YouTubers, this is Lisa from Pressure Crisp, and today we're going to cook some baby back ribs in the Ninja Foodi. So what you see in front of you is a rack of ribs. I halfway took off the silver skin. Um, you should do this, or it is, uh, no matter how much pressure cooking, it will not break this skin down. So what I'm going to do is take a paper towel, and you're just going to pull this off as best you can. I've always fought with this. I've always had trouble getting the whole skin off. So I'm going to go ahead and finish taking this skin off. Okay, so I finished fighting with that silver skin, and I did remove it. Um, I did jump the gun a bit. Uh, started to cut this up into thirds. So there's your one piece there, and we're just going to cut it right here. Just like that. Now my right hand is clean, thank goodness. And all we're going to do, we're going to take some Weber dry rub, and we're just going to sprinkle this all over the the ribs like so and it is a bit messy it's all right go ahead and rub this in you want to make sure it's rubbed in try to hit all areas there we go rub 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 all right you're going to want to flip these over and repeat on the other side so what you're going to do you're going to make sure your uh, pan is in the uh, ninja you're going to take the rack, put the rack in. I'm just going to add one cup of apple cider vinegar and one uh, half a cup of water. Just go ahead and pour that in. You're going to take your ribs, put them on the rack as best you can. I'm just going to grab all three of them. There we go. I'm going to get my hand dirty. And just... Uh, Put them in like so. There we go. Now right, you're going to take the pressure lid. Go ahead and uh, put it on. Turn on the foodie. Make sure this is set to seal. You're going to hit pressure. It's on high. And we're going to put the time to 20 minutes. Oops. There we are. And just hit start. Okay. It is done pressure cooking for 20 minutes. We're gonna let this natu naturally release for five minutes. Okay, so it's been five minutes, uh, natu naturally releasing for five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and manually release this. Okay, so that's done. The red tab in the back is depressed. We're gonna go ahead and take the lid off, open it away from you. They look really good. Wow. We're going to go ahead and take these out. Whoops. All right. Kind of technical difficulties. There we go. And just for fun, I'm just going to do a quick temp on these. Two oh three for a quick one. All right, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna let them rest for just a few minutes, and uh, we're gonna drain that pot. Okay, so they've been resting for a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take. I'm gonna today. I'm gonna use Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. I'm just gonna squirt some on here. I'm just gonna brush it. These ribs are like really, really moist. And the Weber rub adhered right to the rib, which is nice, so it stayed on. Oops. All right, put that there. We're gonna take these ribs and try to get them back into the pot. Some of the sauce is going to fall off. I'm going to try using the um, pressure basket, and then I'm also going to put this right in here and put the sauce right on in here. And I can see where, so I think they sell um, 
like rack rib rack holders where they uh, where they're vertical so they stand up so all sides can get uh, roasted okay so we're gonna just get, grab another one put it in there there we go wow the bones are just coming right off that look at that just gonna quickly put this in here last one and we're just gonna see how these brown up on uh, on the uh, tender crisp setting. A little bit more. Here we go. We're just gonna go ahead and shut the lid. All right, so we're gonna turn it, actually we're gonna hit stop. We hit air crisp, we're gonna do it at 400. The time, we're just gonna set it for 10 because halfway through the cooking time, we're actually gonna flip them over. Hit start. Okay, so it's been five minutes. We're gonna open up, <coughs> excuse me, that was a lot of vinegar. Um, we're gonna, just gonna flip these over. I'm gonna take some out so I can flip everything over. Uh, maybe they are falling off the bone. So these ribs have been tender crisping for about 10 minutes. So we're just gonna go ahead and lift the lid. Ooh, and the top is bubbling. Just gonna pull these out. Oh, wait, oops, slippery. That looks really, really good. And I'm just gonna let them rest on a plate and then we'll do a taste test. Okay, so we're gonna taste test these. Get the tongs out of the way. Let's see. Let's see if we can get one off. All right, this just pulled right off. Look at that. Still hot, I can see it's steaming, but we're just gonna take a little bit of a taste on the side here. Mmm. That is really good. Um, it's moist, it's tender, um, just delicious. So, as you can see in the background, uh, before making the ribs, I did make some mac and cheese and I made a rack of ribs. Now I need to deliver this to my parents and see how they like it. So thanks again for watching the video. Uh, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks a lot.